hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel today i will give you a general overview about uh, the master class of on java with hand on slabs from the basic to the data structure i am a java architect i'm also assistant professor at wenzhou king university which is located in wenzhou in china so today i will first explain why this series of video is different compared to the video that you can find online or on YouTube related to Java. So my philosophy is that we have to think first before coding. What this mean? If you can realize, you can see that many videos directly go to the concept with explaining how this concept came or with designing the problem, where they come from, how they design it, how they write episodal code that will help the audience or the student to understand exactly each concept from a real world case for instance if you want to explain the concept of algorithm or specifically the concept of method we'll explain in a real case where are we using some method like that let's say we want to cook if you want to cook we have to adopt some techniques method a way is a step by step like procedure or process that is a, will form a method so we'll do in this way until the end of the series. Each video before we explain the concept, we'll give real world related to the concept. Then we design it. We give the pseudo code, which is mean a code is a language that uh, help to understand. Anyone who understands the pseudo code can easily implement in Java or in any other programming language he want. I have also over 15 years of experience using Java from freelance industry and teaching experience. As you know, we can teach if someone, if even someone do that who has never been at a, in, in, a, in a big school or university, he can say, okay, I will learn, then first come to teach. But in this way, he's learning, just teaching what he has learned. So this is one of the big difference between our video series compared to other. Because what I'm giving you is something that I can I use you almost every day. So every day I'm coding, every day I'm doing Java. So I know exactly the problem. I have also worked in companies, so I know what companies are waiting from uh, from a student or from someone who want to uh, work in some big companies or someone who want to create. Uh, is so a software engineer solution so in this way you will see that the teaching is like uh, like us uh, i remember jack ma the richest man uh, of in china and that is the owner of uh, alibaba he usually say he would like to go back to university to teach again because now he has opened uh, companies which is working so he will like to go back to teach and in this way, he is really teaching something he is doing every day or something, a problem he's facing. So in this way, you can easily see that this series of video are different compared to the other videos you can find. And uh, as a, a, a beginner or someone who never knows Java, the best way is to start using a, installing JDK using Java without any ID. ID is a integrate development environment for those who don't know you will see it later how to install an id but for now we start from scratch that's mean we don't need any id to code we'll use some text editor step by step i will show you how we can configure all this so we have devised this overview of series in three steps or in three pathway i can say the first one is the java basic where we talk about the installation of Java, how to combine from all uh, command lines. We have also some what is variables, the data types and operator. All this concept before we in I introduce it, I will help you to understand what is variable in real life, what is data type in real life, what is operator. Then we move to some control uh, structure or control flow sometimes is the if condition or some loops and we come by some method okay and at the end of each uh, we'll give you some uh, case study that's mean mini 
a problem to solve for let's say you want to do a great application you want to calculate some area you want to do some conversions then the second path is that we'll now go more in deep that means we we'll talk about the concept of object oriented programming what is object oriented programming where we talk about classes object constructor encapsulation also we talk about inheritance polyformism interface and the exception handling like how to control some errors and after that we'll give some example like let's as you want to do a student management system or bank management system or library management system okay then the last and the deepest one is data structure as we know we can say data structure is a foundation of algorithm so any application that you see like nowadays people use ai as you can see most of the algorithm you will see uh, you have to use some like uh, type of arrays like you can say in programming the most widely if a data store that we use is array because he can store different data okay so after that we'll move to some trees maps and recursion and finally we'll try to explain the complexity of uh, algorithm how can you see this algorithm the complexity how fast is how better an algorithm is as you can see here so from the real data set I mean the real problem we design a piece of code which help is like a language that anyone can read it even you are not good in coding before implementing so as you can see our approach is really different to other approach which will come direct tell you okay this what is variable they just give example of variable int a or string something here we'll explain step by step and uh, using some uh, case study so let's start here and uh, to help me continue this video and to support me you just need to subscribe to my link which you can find uh, on the tutorial the description of the video okay you can also find the materials or any things related to the videos also we do step by step as we have already explained so let's start